Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I've actually been busy on this project and I just want to do a quick update video of my current status on Eternity Evolution mod, which will allow you to run the TBS Crossfire as well as the R9M module, just like we did with the Fly Sky here. Now, there's a couple things we need to take note of first. First, I thought I was going to be able to access the PWM signals coming from each, uh, for example, channel. But that's not the case. What we can access is currently the uh, the potentiometer reading. And I just used this little tiny oscilloscope here, which I'll have linked down below. This is the new one uh, from eDesign. They actually sent this to me a month ago, but I never really got around using it. It's actually a four-channel oscilloscope, unlike the older one. So it's, uh, it's a pretty nice oscilloscope. Actually, I've been using it right now. All right, so before continuing on, a huge shout out to our sponsor, PCBUA, for sponsoring our open hardware flight controller. This is a great place to have your PCB manufactured as well as assembled with great quality and fast service. So let's talk about this mod a little bit. Uh, this mod will just need an Arduino and some kind of a step up in a way, like a pretty big step up, because to enable the R9 and the um, TBS Crossfire, you're going to need a little bit over 5 volts. Uh, so we'll probably have to put some kind of external battery for the module. Now let me show you, I got this to actually just work right now and this is why I'm just so excited because uh, it took quite a bit of work to actually get it to work. So let's take a look here. So on the side right there, we have the P the uh, channel outputs, which outputs them in, you know, like the potentio potentiometer level. From zero volts, it goes up and down uh, based on how far you have it. Because, you know, these work by potenti potentiometers, which basically means the resistance. Uh, the more resistance, the voltage would drop. The higher the resistance, the voltage would increase. So we can say from zero to three point three volts is uh, how we actually know where the uh, gimbal's at. So we can measure its... Uh, uh, where it's at so we can actually control something so here i found a couple pinouts for channels one two and three and four which are what we're going to need for the gimbals these channels these basic current channels right here and they're over here it's going to be a little bit difficult to to see it it's because i'm currently in the prototyping stage and i'm everything is very fragile i don't want to move everything so much right now these go into they get piped into this little arduino right here from uh, channels a0 to a3 so a0 one two, three, that's four channels because it starts at zero. And then after that, what we do is we have this take that input from obviously the potentiometers or the gimbals and output it into PPM. And uh, this is what the modules actually read here, the PPM modules, uh, not, not all of them. I mean, the FR Sky modules take PPM and serial. We're going to just use the PPM like we did with the FlySky here. The FlySky was much easier because they already encoded that data for us and had it ready for us in PPM. And that's why we only needed one wire to do the mod on the FlySky. If you missed it, just Google FlySky TBS Crossfire mod. And um, so why do I have the TB? Why do I have the FlySky next to me, you might ask? Well, the only reason I have it next to me is to provide power for the TBS Crossfire uh, module here because that's you know that's the only way I could provide it power currently and I just didn't want to make some kind of other contraption to give it power and as you can tell here we have pin D13 outputting the PPM all the way to the uh, the module here and ground is also being routed from here you know all of them are on the same ground and the only thing that the fly sky is doing is using the batteries that's inside here uh, to you know just to power it up basically as you can tell, but the fly sky inside on the bottom is actually off, and the PPM signal from the fly sky is right here. It's not connected anywhere. So yeah. So let's actually let me show you how this is actually going to work real quick. I haven't thought about the final end result of how it's going to be just yet, but uh, we'll see that in a bit. So right now let's apply power to the Arduino, and I'm just going to do that by via USB currently. Okay. So now I'm giving power to the Arduino here, and everything is just really tightly squeezed apart. All right, there we go. I've been working on it for a couple days now, actually. I haven't mentioned anything because I wasn't sure I was going to able to. I was always going to be able to make it work. And if we take a look here, we have a little servo. It's an Emacs servo, and it which is connected to the TBS Crossfire receiver right there. And this is the converter that converts it to PWM, just for a quick test. And uh, the power here is coming from the drone mesh uh, all-in-one USB, which is going to just be connected and it's going to provide just power 5 volts for the receiver here. And then I should be able to move the gimbals on the Eternity and be able to move that servo. So there's still a couple bugs, but I mean, it's not really bugs. It's just calibration that I need to set up here. So hold on. Let me just apply power. Okay. So we just applied power to the receiver. You're not going to be able to see that currently. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Here's the servo. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and move up oh, wrong channel. 
Oh yeah. Okay, but we'll be obviously because this is off. So hold on, let me try to get everything in the picture here. Okay. So when I turn this on now, there's a little switch here. Okay. That went on. It's green. It's connected. It's connected via P PWM. Here's a servo down there. Now I'm gonna move one of the gimbals. Oops, sorry, this one. There's a lot of interference here, so the connection is getting kind of lost currently. But here we go. Here's a. See, uh, this is the calibration issue. So if I go down here, it actually goes all the way to the other side. But that's that's fine. I don't care about the calibration right now. It's actually mapping the channels correctly, uh, which is really nice. We should be able to utilize a total, hopefully, of eight channels. But worst case scenario is six channels, which which I think is plenty enough. Uh, plus, anyways, the 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 what is it? The Turnergy Evolution doesn't have uh, many channels anyway. So uh, I think you know one for arming and one for you know your modes, and I think you're good to go. Um, it really brings back life to the Turnergy Evolution here. Um, which I thought would be really nice and the way you bind basically a receiver is not through this anymore You have to bind them through the the modules themselves here There's a way to bind it to the TBS crossfire if you hold it a certain amount of time Also, there's the same thing with the R9M you do the same kind of thing and you're good to go in that perspective But um, overall uh, It's actually working. Oh shit. We almost short-circuited everything here. So overall it's working. It should be uh, I'm, I'm thinking of actually creating a small board for this to make it a little bit easier. It's not going to be that difficult anyways, but um, I I'm still haven't thought about the final execution of this. Um, and I will be releasing it very soon once I finish it. Hopefully I could come back to it and finish it. But as you know, time is very difficult for me because I got to keep uploading videos or else YouTube kind of screws my channel over. And again, guys, if you do like this, please consider joining my Patreon. That'll allow me to just keep doing these and concentrate more on these types of things. And that is the things that I really want to do. Just it's just really awesome to do these things. So I need your support in order to help me get an assistant. It'll make things a lot easier for me and a lot faster. And I can concentrate and finish projects right away in one video. So yeah, any help goes an absolute long way. Or you can just use the links down below as well. Those greatly support the channel. You don't even have to use the same thing. Uh, yeah, basically just uh, any help goes a really long way. And I really, really, I have a couple more projects that I'm actually working on here. Uh, there's another project which will allow you to connect any uh, USB joystick for the PC, PlayStation 3, whatever, Xbox 360, Xbox One. And you'll be able to connect it to this module. It's kind of like the docking, but it's not really a docking, but it's kind of the same form factor. So you plug your USB in there, you plug your FR Sky module in there, and then you'll be able to control whatever the hell you want uh, through that module through a USB joystick. For example, if you're riding an airplane and you wanted to get a PC joystick, uh, you'll be able to do that. So that's also another project that I'm working on, but it's just it's just been so slow because I couldn't find time to keep at it and I would really love to concentrate on these projects and these projects actually take quite a lot of time and a lot of digging in and um, yeah any support guys will go an absolute long way here let me know what you guys think down in the comment section uh, if you guys are curious or you guys are interested in this because this will brings a whole new it just brings a lot of life back to the turn edge evolution now uh, the proof of concept it actually works it works really great um, there is latency, it's just the PPM latency, so you'll have some latency. It's not terrible latency, but I can test it. But if you're flying something pretty chill, mellow, and you just wanted longer range, uh, this will be pretty awesome. The latency shouldn't be that bad. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you're using the QX7 uh, with the TBS Crossfire, without the mod for the QX7, you're just running on PPM. It's just about, it's just the same latency of PPM, basically. Maybe just a couple, uh, five milliseconds more, which is really not much. But again, we'll test that. So uh, what's left is for me to map all the channels, figure out a way to help make calibration easy. It should be very simple. Uh, just because this takes five volts and this whole board is running on 3.3 volts, so the potentiometers, you know, when you hit full throttle, it's basically maxing out and actually at 3.1 volts when I was checking it through my oscilloscope. So just a nice way to calibrate it, make it a really simple way to calibrate this. Uh, that'd be really nice. So I have to do that. Uh, also figure out some kind of a design and the final wiring of this to make it easy for everybody. Whether I create my own Arduino board or whether we just use like some kind of a mini. We're not going to be able to use the AT Tiny because they don't have enough connections or enough pins to actually use for this. So, yeah, it's just going to be um, 
I need some time to figure out also design 3D design some things and 3D print some things in order to take the modules like we did here for the fly sky and this actually proved to be very successful and again I do apologize I haven't showed you guys how to set up the R9M with this module it's the same thing just plug it in figure out how to lock into PPM mode and you should be good to go it's it's not really that difficult but again I'm still not having the the time that I need to enable to do, to do all of these extra little things hoping that you'd kind of understand on the fly and uh, try to figure out on your own. But uh, the R9M actually works on the FlySky with the TBS Crossfire mod here. And, well, I'll probably be back in a couple hours, hopefully, to update you guys on the status. And maybe come in with some camera latency testing. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But I really want to finalize this because this is looking, this is looking, it's not even looking promising. It's basically done. I just need to figure out the final execution. And that is what takes a lot of time. But I just wanted to upload a video and just share this with you guys. And let me know what you guys think. Please comment down in the comment section. And please join my Patreon. Help me bring this channel to a whole new level. And that is what I really want to do. And uh, I'm actually dying to do. And, um. Yeah, and well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in a couple hours, hopefully.